Cold when the wind hits, the tree swinging slightly, sends a burst of adrenaline through you, and then... There it is. <sighs> the forest. Hello, YouTube. Uh, we're going to do something different this week. Uh, we've got a, a short video that was produced by my friends in Guatemala. I'm part of a class down there, so to speak, kind of an ad hoc professor, uh, artist in residence, not in residence, uh, with a canopy course down there, Biology in the Canopy. And it was a course that was developed kind of on our earlier efforts going down to Guatemala. And now we're going to kind of come full circle and be involved uh, again. And in September, uh, we're going to be going down to Guatemala, and I'm taking Jacob Rogers with me from Guilty of Treason. So he's uh, excited about it. And, you know, one of the regrets I have from the early 2000s when I went down there several times is, you know, I got lots of pictures, but I didn't get video, you know, and, and videos come so far, especially, you know, action video. The GoPro, the introduction of the GoPro has just been a great uh, thing for all action sports. And and we're kind of industrial athletes in the arboricultural world. And we're helping these students, you know, develop some research projects uh, by getting them into the canopies. And they've got three projects going on, I think, in this in this case. We've got, we're going to be analyzing the, the vocal calls of the holler monkeys. So that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, I'm I'm working with a a sound guy to try to get some some sounding equipment uh, down there, and there's another one uh, investigating the um, distribution of the Ramon nut. It, that's a very highly nutritious nut on a tree down there, the Ramon tree, and we're going to investigate how you know mammals and birds maybe move that nut around in the forest naturally. And then a uh, third project is uh, a study on birds in the canopy and maybe at, at different levels. You know, are there different activities of birds at different levels in the canopy? And so some neat projects that we're going to be doing, we're, we'll have a two-day travel out to where we're going up in the northern part of Guatemala, the Paten district. And that's where Tikal is if you've ever, you know, looked at different travel uh magazines for Guatemala. Tikal is the famous Mayan ruins, the temple city of Tikal. And you can see it in the Star Wars movie on the forest planet when the, the planes fly across the planet and you see these pyramids sticking out of the forest. That's Tikal. And uh, we're going to be up in that area um, and uh, at a research station. And it's going to be a, you know, a neat neat project uh two days out four days on site i think and then two days back and when we get there we're going to do a day course at the university and and kind of do some different climbing techniques and uh, just bring some of you know our day in and day out expertise uh into the class and it's it's going to be a great experience and uh you know the students put together a little uh video that follows me here uh about five minutes and it kind of really uh, gives an authentic feel for the excitement that they have to go out and, and do this work in the forest. So uh, they'll show you some of what we're going to be doing. And so don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Hi, if you're new here, check out our last video on YouTube posted by Game of Trees, Canopy Climbing in Guatemala Rainforest. This time, we went to Corazón de Agua. It's located in Magdalena Milpas Altas, in the department of Zacatepeques, Guatemala, which is just a few minutes away from the city, where you transition from the city homes, traffic, honks, smog, to the sweet and high bird songs, crisp, cool air, where the tall trees lay scattered on the forest floor. There's something about the ground-based fieldwork of canopy research that make it a special part of every expedition. And when I say special, I mean more on the side of gritty and patience testing rather than warm and fuzzy. 
It's something about working through the scrappy, messy, frustrating tasks before even getting off the ground that forms the backbone of the work and builds the team. Of course, everyone enjoys the canopy selfie moment, but what the camera doesn't show is all the hard work prior to make that photo happen. Behind the smiley photo of someone gracefully dangling from the forest canopy surrounded by beautiful epiphets and glorious greens, there has been a lot of hard graft. First of all, choosing a research area and a suitable tree, not dead, free of stinking beasties and angry monkeys, it's a good start. Just because there are trees for miles does not mean it's an easy task. Get into said tree with everything and your wits intact is slightly more difficult when there aren't any paths. Rig in the tree. Well, I can't even begin to describe the horrors this can cause. But once we've overcome all those obstacles and we are 20 meters above the ground, you feel when the wind hits, the tree swinging slightly, sends a burst of adrenaline through you, and then... There it is. <sighs> the forest. Bueno, Leslie, ya estoy grabando. A ver. Cuéntenos. ¿Cómo sintió la subida? Pues la subida bien, un poco de miedo al final, pero bien. ¿Y con esta técnica para moverse en las ramas? Creo que está... No, sí está bien. O sea, al principio igual me dio miedo, pero ya después sí, sí me dio más confianza. Ok. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to help out, you can certainly reach out to us at uh, GameOfTrees.com on Instagram and at Kevin Ham Game of Trees on Instagram. And uh, yeah, you can participate monetarily or if you've got access to different types of equipment that might be useful to us, we're gonna be bringing down some sets of climbing gear. Uh, so ascension systems and, and different things like that. Uh, we need a couple of uh, like black diamond portal ledges. <laughs> you know, they're really nice big platforms that set up and people set them up on sides of cliffs. Well, they work nice in a tree too. And for uh, getting some of the uh, different things that they need, the bird shots, it might be good. Uh, some of the students are thinking of staying in the canopy overnight. So they're, they're very early in the morning, right when the birds are waking up, so they can kind of experience that bird activity firsthand. Uh, so we, we would like to bring down a couple of platforms like that, black diamond uh, portal ledges, and maybe with the full canopies, you know, because it's the jungle. <laughs> you, need, you need mosquito netting and, and different things like that. So uh, that would be some practical ways that, that maybe if you've got some connections there, you know, certainly reach out to us and, and, you know, fill us in on some of those actions. Uh, we're working on some sound equipment that we're going to bring down. 
and it's good. It's going to be a great time. Playing the game of trees. 